Hey, you guys. So this is a totally different video for me. Look, y'all. I have spent so much time doing what's called a downward video <laughs> setup. Yeah, I would rather do 5,000 shower videos and do this again. I'm using a different type of tripod. Most of the crafters and planners who do this, they have a tripod that extends out. Miss Girl don't have that. And since this is typically not my setup, I'm not going to. I figure I wouldn't just buy a tripod, excuse me, specifically for that. But y'all, let's just get right into it. I am a very... um how should I put it? Not very, but I like to have yearly goals. And this is something I've been doing before it became a thing, it became a fad, even before they started doing the uh, vision boards and all of that. I was doing something similar to that years ago. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do and what I have been doing in the past as far as goal planning. I'm also gonna go over what worked and what hasn't worked. Y'all have to excuse this. This is just, I'm at my table, girl. I'm gonna go over what worked for me in the past and what didn't work and do a little bit of um, reflection for 2023, okay? So let's just jump right into it, like I stated. We're gonna go over some things that worked in the past and didn't work. Look, I used an old school notebook pad in the past and girl, I wanted to get real pretty with my goals. So this was back in 2022 through 2021. I spent hours decorating this, which I would not recommend. Um, we have things here such as money, personal development, family relations, um, health, spiritual, career development. So this was good because I was able to map everything out and have all of my little um, tasks in here. And so that was for 2020, 2021. Next, I think I have in the middle of COVID, which this did not work at all because I have a lot, I had a lot of stuff going on, girl. So again, I just used just uh, um, a notebook. And look, <laughs> we can see how much I, I achieved. But I had four basic goals. Goal one, two, three, and four. Pay off my car, develop three new skills, lose 15 pounds, awaken my spiritual guilt. So, and I, I mapped everything out in quarters, but a lot of things happened. And like we moved <laughs> twice. And so this really didn't, none of this worked. Then right before we moved here in the middle of moving here, I figured, okay, let me do a binder and do, uh, I purchased a complete kit through a person through, what was it, Etsy. So I had all of these goals here that I mapped out. And y'all have to excuse the back, it's my, my son. Um, this did not work for me. It did not work for me at all to the point to where this is probably the fourth of, basically I can count on my hand how many times I even looked in this, in this binder. So this didn't work. So let me show you guys what I plan on doing and go over, I'm not a professional, I'm gonna say this right now, but go over what has worked for me and what I plan on doing going forward. When you map out your goals, you want your goals to be SMART goals. I know you guys have probably heard this a lot. Me working in corporate America, and I've been working in corporate America all my life. My first job, I worked in corporate America. So I was what, like 22, 23. So I'm used to the term SMART goals. SMART goals are basically, they have to be very specific, measurable, attainable, or achievable, realistic, and time bound. So I'm gonna give you an example. Oh hell, I can go through one of my examples and show you how it worked and how it didn't work. My goal was to lose 25 pounds. Was that very specific? Yes. Something that's not specific if I, if I say, okay, I wanna lose weight. Measurable, do I have it measured down here? Yes, I have some targets here. April 1st, 2023, August, 2023. The next one is, what is it? After measurable, is it achievable? Yes, it's achievable. I can lose 25 pounds by mid-2023. Was it realistic? No, it wasn't realistic for me. It just wasn't. So this is one of the reasons why this goal failed. It wasn't realistic. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did and what I've been doing for a couple of hours here. I did a map. This is almost like a brain dump, which I'm, I tend to do 
regardless of, of whether it's goals or even when it comes to mapping out my book ideas. So I just put here in the middle and I can go ahead and circle this. Goals 2024. I have my areas health, finance, faith, personal, and work. What I have been doing in the past, you guys, which I think kind of, I was kind of stuck in the past, especially back here. I had my quarter goals, which is very, very smart. But in my opinion, I had too many goals. Even here, there's too many goals. I'm going to just pick a few from each category that I definitely want to do. And I'm going to put some time frames around these goals, okay? So it needs to be achievable. It needs to be realistic. And I have to be honest with myself and, and say, okay, can you really achieve this? Now, there were some things that occurred last year, and I'll go over that, that... I could not, um, I did not have any control over, like my husband getting sick. I didn't have any control over that. Sorry, y'all, the, the tablecloth is dirty. My husband getting sick. I didn't have any control over that. Or uh, getting really busy at my job. I don't have any control over that. My, my son getting sick, you know, or my, myself getting sick. I have no control over that, okay? But there are certain things that I do have control over. So some of the things that I did achieve... Um, if I were to go back to, let's see, I really need to get back into the mindset of, of remembering that money is a tool. Okay. Um, and so even though I was able to pay off big pocket things, like I paid off my car, I paid off my PayPal account. There are a couple of things I paid off, but overall my debt increased by a thousand dollars. And most of that is because um, my lines of credit increased. So even though I paid off some big ticket items, it still increased. Now, $1,000 isn't a whole lot for an entire year, but for me it is when I'm already in, you know, I'm already trying to achieve a certain financial goal. So girl, like I said, let's get into it. So we have this map here that I dumped, <laughs> that I, I just did this morning. But then instead of doing all of these little specific things, I really do like the quarterly setup and quarters, you guys are just yearly. So you have three, excuse me, four quarters for the entire year. So as I stated, I know I'm not going to be able to achieve all of this. So realistically, what can I achieve? I'm going to try and do two from each pocket because there's just no way. And I'm going, at this point, I'm going to go ahead, we need to go back, back, and, because right now, they are, are a, a bit specific. I've already done step one, but measurable. So this is where it comes in. So health, lose 20 pounds. That is very specific, but um, is it attainable? Yes. And honestly, I've, I'm already down from this overall goal, uh, carrying on from last year or even this year, because I keep saying last year, this year I gained weight and so then, but then I lost that weight. I'm not back down to my pre-gain weight, which is only five pounds away. So technically, you see how this can go back and forth, almost a money situation where I was able to pay off some more, some lump sum credits, but then I gained more. So we we're back at we're right back at square one. Same thing with the weight. Can I lose 20 pounds? Absolutely. Is it realistic? Um, yeah, it is, depending on when I'm gonna do it. So I'm still gonna have this as a goal, you guys. I really am. Down here, work, develop a new skill set. I've been really good about work, but I honestly feel like if I can achieve a lot under my faith. Some of these things will come into place. Does that make sense, y'all? A lot, of, and a lot of these goals have an effect. One can have an effect on the other. Do I need to really work on this? No, because it's something I'm already going to be doing at work because it's part of part, a part of my work goals. Excuse me. So we're not going to do this, girl. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six seven goals. Now, if I wanted to, I could do this thing, goal setting, your goal, you know, right now specific, what do you want to achieve? How will you know when you achieve your, you reach your goal? Is this goal within your power to accomplish? Can you realistic achieve your goal? Where do you want to achieve your goal by? That's nice. Um, but I'm not going to do that. And so this is it, you guys. So now for quarter goals, now, I look at this. I look at my map. 
What do I have in the first quarter? Paying off the Wayfair. Um, and then what I could also do is get started on some of the stuff that's in second quarter, like creating a self-care routine and get a better work-life work balance. So I'm going to go ahead, quarter one gold. Um, pay off Wayfair line of credit. Okay. <sighs> Get a better work life balance. Lose 20 pounds. I'm putting that here, but the actual mini goal is not going to be specifically this, but how would I lose 20 pounds, okay? I just realized that I was not taping any of that. I am not going to re-record that. Instead, I'm going to tell y'all what I've been doing. I've been mapping out my quarterly goals. One of them is pay off. This is just for the quarter, January to March. Pay off my Wayfair line of credit. That's $566. Get a better work-life balance. Lose 20 pounds. So for January, I have to be very specific on how much I need to pay off a Wayfair to achieve that goal of 566. Oh, by the way, I also need to return in order to get that. I need to return steamer to Wayfair because that's $45 in credit that can go get, go towards that 566, okay? Get a better work-life balance. What does that mean? Okay, I put here, turn on Slack notifications on iPhone, well, basically my, my cell phone, my laptop. Pause notifications. We use Slack. Slack is a, it's basically like instant messenger. So I get notified, y'all. I'm available all day, every day, Monday through Sunday. It's not that I'm saying I'm available, but my problem is, is that I don't pause my notifications. So I can get a message from Abigail. We're just going to call her Abigail. Abigail on Sunday at 10 o'clock that says, hey, Vivian. And me, I answer it. You know, it may not be right away, but I will look at it. Balance. Lose 20 pounds. What does that mean? Um, perhaps I work out. So since it's January, I haven't worked out in a long time. So... And I know me, so what does that mean? Okay, do kettlebell, I love kettlebell workout. We're gonna make this achievable three times a week. What about for February? What does my get a better work-life balance looks like? Um, I can't think of it now. I'm gonna go back to uh, lose 20 pounds. Okay, February, what does that mean? Limit fried foods two, two to three times a month. That is so hard. Let me tell you why. I eat fried foods multiple times a week. I'm in the 160s and that's a problem. Limit fried foods to two to three times a month. That is, well, girl, you can't even do that two to three times this month. All right. Let's go back to get a work-life balance. Again, what does that mean? I got to, I have to be very specific. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. Um, schedule PTO. I'm really bad about this, y'all. For Q2. Because we're already in Q1. So it doesn't make any sense to do it for Q1. So schedule PTO for Q2. Oh, also, um, this is what I can do. Um, brainstorm, uh, brainstorm, what do you call it? Spring break vacation for the family. Again, that's going back to get a better work-life balance. So this is it. I have my three goals, quarter goals set. I have my mini task set. So January, for example, we have returned steamer from Wayfair. Well, how do I ensure that we are meeting those goals? I have my planner. So I use the Happy Planner. I've always used Happy Planners. Okay, let me get this out the way. Now, this is cute, 
right? Th this is real cute, but this is the this is the realistic. This is what it really looks like. This is what it, this is what it is. <laughs> and this is yeah. This is what it can really yeah. We do this now. It's cute when you <laughs> you can use your stickers and, and mind you, I spent quite a bit of money on stickers, and so I guess my point is is that now we're going into January. This is done. So I have a new planner that I purchased way in the summertime. And I stick to Happy Planner because I just like the setup. This is the week. So what I would do, I'm not going to do this right now. What I would do is now I have to ensure that more than likely I'm going to return that Wayfair. Um, I'm going to return that this week. So I don't have to worry about this. But as far as, again, on here I have turn off. Slack notifications on iPhone and laptop. I can incorporate that in the week. Be very specific and say, look into or make sure that you configure your Slack notifications. And once I set it up on my actual laptop, it'll sync to your phone too. So that is it, you guys. Let me know if this was interesting to you, if this helped anyone. Like I say that I am not, you know, this I'm not an expert at this. I'm just sharing with you guys what has worked for me, what I plan on doing. Um, let me know what are you plan on doing and what have you used or what are some of your goals you have for the year. Um, but be, be, be very specific and don't beat yourself up because I literally was up here, y'all. I was literally up here. And I even have a spreadsheet for my finances. I was looking at that and really upset with myself. For about two hours, I'm not kidding you. I was looking at everything, looking at my goal for a good goals in general for two hours and just really beating myself up. But then I have to look at it that, hey, I did a lot in two to three years. I got a promotion, I paid off my car, I paid off some big bills. Um, and I didn't, I've lost, I've lost the little weight that I've been gaining. So you have to look at the wins and then self-reflect and take yourself, you know, be accountable for the things that, that you may have missed the marker on. And that's what I'm trying to do. The one thing I will encourage you is just to not give up. Start little, just don't stop. Okay, just keep going. So that is it. I love you guys. Oh, I love you guys. So you guys have a great end of the year. I wish you all the best entering into 2024. Y'all take care. Bye.